Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a new moon in Sagittarius reading. Then I'm going to get started with December's, so stay tuned. So we're just going to see what comes up. The new moon in Sagittarius, I believe, is today, the 26th, but, you know, the influences, they last for, like, what, six months? I, I guess. I mean, I'm no astrologer, but... Anyhow, let's see what we got for this new moon in Sagittarius. What do we got for this new moon in Sagittarius? Ace of Wands reversed. Hmm. That's no nothing to be excited about. <laughs> that doesn't sound good now, does it? Ace of Wands. Something going south. That is something going south. It's like there's something isn't growing. There's a lack of fertility or something hasn't materialized as you expected. Right? I mean somebody is being weighed down. Three of Wands reversed. Hmm. This is this is not prepared. Dashed expectations for sure. Somebody's somebody's it's like somebody's expectations have been been dashed for sure. And they may not have been prepared. It's like this is this is a fire being put out. It is it's being put out. Somebody's having a really hard time focusing on the future. And they should be focusing on the future. Somebody just isn't seeing the opportunities. They're being weighed down by something that has already gone south. Ooh, nine of swords reversed. So we have somebody that is very, very much, they probably have a lot of regrets, a lot of regrets, having a very hard time. There's a lot of tears, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression here. When it's in reverse, it's extreme, extreme depression. Um, extremely exhausted. We have somebody here that... Uh, they're probably feeling like they, their whole life has been turned upside down. Okay, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of sadness. There's regrets, extreme regrets. There could be some ill health here, as well. Somebody is not healthy for sure. Now we have a we have an upcoming celebration with the four of wands. We do. Whoo! Wow. This is a uh, recovery. Somebody is about to go through some sort of recovery and into some sort of happy situation or they have this is letting go of the past hurts, but somebody's been having a very, very hard time doing that, as we can see. But this is a card of forgiveness and healing. And celebrating and happiness and contentment. It is time to let go of those past hurts and celebrate your life. This is a celebration of life. It's a celebration of of coming together but you gotta let go of those past hurts with the three of swords reversed somebody is on the path to recovery and the pain is being released there is healing that is happening it is happening after somebody has been in a very very extremely stressful situation there's been a lot of time that has been wasted 
in a situation where there was no growth, somebody be, was being weighed down by a situation that was very unhealthy. But this is a time to celebrate. It really is. To build a new foundation. So somebody is building a new foundation. Cups. Now this is an offering of love. It's very emotional. We have a very uh, caring individual here that is offering somebody emotional support. This person is very intuitive. This person is very gentle. And this person appears to... be giving somebody the tender, loving care that they need to heal. This person is a healer. This person is a healer. So we have somebody here that is going to be providing or is providing emotional support. This person is a mother. She's very caring. She's very compassionate. This is reality, a reality check. It's like there's whatever has been hidden is has been revealed. There's it's the end of confusion. Somebody is seeing the truth in a situation. There's nothing left to be hidden. It's like there's there's nothing to hide. The truth is out. It's like the darkness is being replaced with the light. This is an opportunity to, to celebrate. It is time to celebrate. There is a celebration here. And it's a celebration of love. It really is. After there's been some serious, there's been a painful separation. This is a painful separation that has already happened. But there was a reason. There was secrets. There was lies. There was deception. But now it's time for healing. So I think that th that we have a healer here that is helping somebody to heal after they have been through a painful separation. And now there are, somebody is on the path to recovery and it's time to celebrate and live again. After being weighed down by a, it's like a desperate situation. Very desperate Queen of Swords reversed. Now the Queen of Swords reversed is somebody that is very assertive and brash. And she gets upset. And she is not somebody to mess with. The Queen of Swords in reversed. Absolutely not. No way. Not somebody to mess with. Um, and she may have revealed something. She may have revealed something that or somebody may have received revealed something that really made another person uh pissed off somebody could be very very upset and have a lot of regrets over their inability to take care of something it's like this person with the with the ace of wands and the three of wands reverse there's no growth here there is no growth something something is not growing like it's supposed to we could have two people that come into a situation and see something this person is very compassionate and intuitive one person could get upset. The other person could, you know, is very calm and collective. And it's like they see the truth. This is seeing the truth about a situation. 
So anyway, I'm not sure what this is, but I feel like there's there's some sort of revelation. There's some sort of truth that is, is being seen, for sure, with the moon reversed, by somebody that is very compassionate and healing and kind. I think this is, is somebody that is on the outside. There's definitely, it's definitely a very intense time with all these cards. It's very intense. It's a very intense energy. Somebody's gut may be telling them, because this is a card of gut, the Nine of Swords reversed, may be telling them that somebody isn't telling the truth. And, and this is like a, a, your gut knows. I do believe that it does. Your gut knows that somebody isn't telling the truth. Somebody is holding on to something. They're miserable. Very, very, very miserable. This is somebody that is greedy. Somebody that is selfish. Somebody that um, is refusing to give. This is somebody that is very selfish. Somebody may be regretting their selfishness. Their greed. Their inability to open up. That is, could be some serious regrets here, huh? Somebody may have some regrets over their selfishness. Somebody was obsessed. Seven of Shields reversed. This is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This Somebody was holding on to something that seriously wasn't growing. There's seriously no growth with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Seriously. Out of their own selfishness, their own obsessions, their own... Uh, oh, what's the word for it? Oh, God. Inner problems. Their own problems. Anyhow, there's definitely... There's somebody in this situation that has been holding on to something that has no potential for growth at all if they continue to stay in that situation. They're wasting their time. And it's like somebody didn't see... They didn't see a situation clearly, but now they do. It's like all of a sudden they start to see a situation clearly. And I think there's going to be a relocation because the Seven of Pentacles is a card of real, uh, relocation. So I do believe that there's going to be some sort of relocation. we got somebody here that is very unhealthy. And I feel like there's, there's somebody that is seeing the truth about a situation. And we got the lovers. There's going to be a choice that is made. There's going to be a decision that is made to relocate or to go someplace else. This is a choice. There is definitely a choice between two options. And I think we have a very intuitive individual that is going to make this decision. And like I said yesterday, there's going to be a reunion of some sort. There's a reunion between two people. And when people see the lover's card, they automatically think, thinks, or think it's a sexual relationship. It's not. A, a, the lovers or the two of cups or even this card... This, that's a reunion between two people that are meant to be together. It could be children. It could be parents. It could be lovers. It could be friends. We do have a reunion. We have two people that are, are coming together at this time. They have been brought together by... Uh, I think it's a, it's a divine being, okay? It's a divine entity. I think that there is somebody on the other side. My ears ringing really loud right now, so that was a yes. So it just happened just like that, and this is gonna something is gonna happen just like that. Okay, there's gonna be a reunion that happens just like that, and it's it's gonna be, you didn't even you didn't even see it coming. I think that there is a obviously there's been a situation that hasn't been going anywhere, and things are about to change. Um, 
somebody has been holding on to something that they 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 need to let go of out of greed out of selfishness and they've been putting their own problems their own issues onto this person and i feel like there is a very intuitive soul here that is a healer or something like that that is going to see a situation clearly or they have seen a situation clearly and there's going to be some sort of celebration in the near future um, somebody has been is is been through a very heartbreaking situation, and I think that um, it's time to heal. It's time to live again. It's time to regain health and come out of this deceptive situation. And I think there is a universal pull. There is this is a, a unexpected uh, relocation or unexpected. Uh, change in the family dynamics the ten of pentacles reversed there could be a child leaving this is a child leaving ten of pentacles reversed okay this is a dying dream okay this is something that is unstable somebody may have been pretending it was stable but it's not stable so somebody has been in a very unstable situation very unstable with the ten of pentacles reversed and insecure and I think that there is a relationship. Somebody in the family is going someplace else. There's definitely a relocation on the table here. It's not It's not a happy home. It's not a happy relationship. There could be some family feuds that are going on with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I'm sure that there is for a lot of you. Um, but this, this lover's card is an unexpected choice in love decisions somebody is going to make a decision that involves relocating because it's like somebody was was obsessed with their own mental issues somebody could have mental issues with this nine of swords this is this is mental problems it really is reversed extreme somebody could have extreme mental problems and you know somebody may this person may see it may feel it and they they decide to um speak up or something like that step in i just saw the step in somebody is stepping into the picture see the step somebody is stepping in so be prepared be prepared okay you may not be prepared with this three of wands reversed you better get prepared you get better get prepared because it feels as though something is about to change. And I don't need the Tower card. I, I know. Something is about to change that you did not expect. Okay? With that three, you didn't expect it. There's going to be an upcoming reunion between two people. There is. Absolutely. With these two cards. And these two people don't have to be lovers. I had somebody comment on the one I did yesterday. Hell no. Open your mind, sweetheart. I don't want no reunion. What, you got a one-track mind? There is going to be a reunion. And it doesn't have to be with just a lover. There is going to be two people that are coming together. And they're going to build some sort of new foundation. These two people, there could be any kind of relationship. Any kind. It doesn't have to be lovers. But we definitely have a reunion here. And this could be somebody from a past life. A lot of people don't get that either. It's like they have that one track mind. And they think it's their ex. Open your mind to the possibilities here. Get prepared for somebody to arrive that changes your living circumstances or to leave, okay? Either they arrive or they leave. There's a change on the home front. We could have somebody here that is mentally ill. And there's this, it, there's this person that just knows it. They just see it.
Let's get an oracle card. Let's get an oracle card. Let's get one of these, okay? So what do we got for the new moon? I feel like there's going to be, it's going to be a very emotional time. It is. I think it is going to be a very emotional, intense time in the next, I think it's the next three days. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. We do. We have somebody that is about to see both sides of a situation and they're going to make some sort of choice, some sort of decision. Um, I think that something is going to change in the next three days. It's something that it's the end of lies. It's the end of a painful situation. The truth is coming out. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be some sort of reunion. And that's what I got. Talk to you later.